terms of endearment, uh, this movie is an Oscar winner from uh, 1983. Uh, won Best Picture, uh, Best Actress, Shirley MacLaine, Best Director, James L. Brooks, uh, Best Supporting Actor, uh, Jack Nicholson, great in his role. Uh, this movie is basically evil. Um, top ten movies that are going to make me an absolute emotional wreck uh, after I watch them. This is one or two. Uh, horrible, horrible. I've seen this movie twice, um, in this, with ten years in between each time watching them. Um, I, I decided to watch this again recently. Big mistake. Um, ugh, just brutal. Brutal movie. Um, it's a tough one to watch. It really is. Um, but that kind of speaks volumes of, of, of I guess, the power of, of the movie, basically, because it does very much hit close to home. Um, and, and because it is, it feels genuine, you know, it's like a slice of life, but, you know, of course it is entertaining, but it's kind of like life itself, it like shows segments of of life, of, of a family, and and kind of the the hardships and and the funny moments and and how how odd you can find these funny moments and and how unexpected they can be. Um, basically, what what main main part of the movie it is uh, Shirley MacLaine. She is the mother. And she has a very uh, complicated uh, relationship with her daughter, played by Deborah Winger. Um, due to uh, the, her husband's death, she becomes pretty much latched on to her daughter. She's overprotective, overbearing, and it's kind of mainly about their relationship. There, it's, it's like a long-distance relationship between mother and daughter. Um, once uh, Shirley MacLaine uh, has to let her let her daughter go, Deborah Winger gets married. Um, she doesn't even come to a wedding. She tells her, your life is going to be bad if you marry this guy. Uh, the husband is played by Jeff Daniels. He has one of the strangest names um, of a character. Flap is the husband's name. They never really once mention that, hey, this is kind of a strange name. What, what kind of name is Flap? So one thing that's missing from this movie. Um, but, uh, yeah, basically, and in so many ways, she's, she's sort of right. Um, but at the same time, she's absolutely wrong. So it's a challenging movie like that where you kind of think about it. Um, but basically, it's it's showing both their lives and kind of how they're progressing, how they're doing, what uh, problems are they're encountering in in love and family and and otherwise um, through the phone. Uh, the phone bills in in these in this movie huge. Would you can't make a movie like this today with like you know like oh don't worry I'll just Skype you Skype you mom. Um, but uh, anyway, um, yeah. I, like the the one side of, of uh, things is, is Shirley MacLaine's character, Aurora, um, and her romance that begins uh, with the Jack Nicholson character, who's an ex astronaut, a ladies' man, and you know just kind of a, a douchebag, but she kind of gets to the heart of him. Um, and the the interesting thing about the the, the romance, as you see uh, time go by, and it's like so crazy, like you know one scene occurs and then the next scene it's like oh all of a sudden this is five years later this is ten years later so the relationship builds over like a decade and a half which is kind of interesting because it doesn't feel that way but in the same way it kind of does because it it's a movie that moves at the pace of life basically it's a cheesy way to put it but it's true um and and i like that uh part of the movie and, and that was really good but i i think you know uh the the Depper Winger side of things is, is also very interesting. Like, you know, her her husband's kind of, you know, you think he's fooling around on her, but you don't really have proof. Then you do get proof. And in, in one of the funnier scenes, um, where he's <laughs> hitting on one, he's a teacher, and, and he's hitting on one of his students. Like he kind of, she overhears a conversation. She's like hiding in the bushes, and like you know, you can tell that there's something going on between her, him and the student. Then she's like, "Oh, you son of a bitch!" And then he turns around. He has the baby <laughs> with him, like in like a little strap there, and the kind of comical, but also just uh, cringe-inducing, awkward scene um, where he's just waddling around with with the baby strapped to him. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can explain. Um, but very funny. Um, and she's no saint either. She also has an affair um, with a banker played by John Lithgow. And, and Lithgow is great um, in his performance. Uh, he was also nominated for an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. Obviously, lost to Jack. If you're going to lose to someone, I mean, you may as well beat to Jack, right? Um, so I thought he was very good. And the relationship between the two, I mean, though it, it's a tiny, tiny bit of the movie, I, I think it was kind of sweet and, and kind of moving. Um, <laughs> again, it's it's this movie's about like little funny moments like that. He's like, w when 
this is I'm going all over the place, but basically near near the end of the movie, sort of near it, um, they move move away again. Um, you know, the family packs up uh, to leave, and of course, they're, uh, she's going to be leaving the banker behind. He's like, I don't even have a picture of you. Can I have a picture of you? She's like, Okay, well, my husband and kids are in it. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's funny, um, but yeah, uh, pretty much the the movie. Uh, it's it's final sort of act I, I guess uh, takes a turn uh, towards absolute heartbreaking tragedy um, which I won't give away just in case you haven't seen it. it's not like it's like oh I don't want to give away spoilers but I just you know kind of just in case you don't know haven't heard about it I don't want to kind of ruin the emotional impact of it because it is very effective so I wouldn't want to take that away from anybody but uh, uh, it's it, it's it's absolutely heartbreaking and and because the movie though mm, the main characters they are of course the Shirley MacLaine and Deborah Winger characters but what's so good about this movie and, and why I think you know people can respond to it in the way that they do and relate to it the, the way that they do is because it does fairly show perspectives of, of all the characters like you can kind of envision yourself as some of the characters here you can relate to it whether it be uh, the Shirley MacLaine character whether it be the Deborah Winger character whether it be Jeff Daniels is is the husband who you know he's not a monster or anything he loves his wife and they love each other but that's you know that's just how life turned out for them and it's, it's moving in, in that way um, or like the kids or the the loner neighbor who doesn't want to get too close to anybody doesn't want to be you know emotionally responsible for anybody um, so it, it does have all these perspectives to it so it's it's very relatable um, no matter what point of view and you know as you know the you as a person as an audience member grow you may watch this movie, and I can speak for myself, basically. I mean, you can watch this movie, have one perspective, share one perspective, then have a completely other, um, you know, ten years later when you watch it. So I think it's a powerful movie in, in that sense, and a very relatable movie in that sense. Um, I, I do think uh, it, it, it did deserve uh, the Oscar, um, because it's, you know, it, very few movies can uh, bring out this kind of emotion, uh, not just to me, but in audiences in general. Um, at the same time, I'd highly recommend this movie, but at the exact same time, I'd say, please steer clear of it. You're going to be balling. Um, uh, get get the tissues ready for this movie, basically. Um, but it's it's a beautiful movie, and it's a funny movie, and, you know, James L. Brooks, uh, pretty much, this this is his, his masterpiece, and he's someone who's always, of course, uh, done comedies that also have drama to them, like Broadcast News, As Good As It Gets, um... Not so much, how do you know? Um, but, I mean, this is pretty much the, the be-all, end-all of James L. Brooks' productions. A uh, fantastic movie, a very moving one, and uh, an unforgettable motion picture. And uh, one that I'd like to forget. And maybe I'll watch it in another ten years, but not anytime soon. Because um, I can't handle it. Um, so thank you for watching, and that's my review. More to come.